how to make a booking website with wordpress hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel today we will be taking a look at how you can build your own booking and scheduling system on a wordpress website so let's get into it now wordpress is one of the most commonly used website builders in the world simply because of how customizable their open source software is and the amazing integrations that it provides and with the large scale of WordPress, there are so many different plugins that you can use to simplify your WordPress website building process. So even if you're someone that is not very well versed in coding or HTML or JavaScript, you can easily write your own or create your own WordPress website with these simple plugins and simple systems that enable you to integrate different functions into your website. Now to create your own booking website on WordPress, it's very simple and easy. So we're just going to use Elementor as our basic website builder. And what you're going to do is once you have your basic website layout, now I currently don't have my website layout corrected. This is just, you know, a sample layout. I haven't actually made this website. This is just a sample for you guys to see how to integrate the actual appointment scheduling system into your website. Although for you guys, you're going to actually do this on a new page, just go into your pages on your WordPress website. So just click on all pages, click on add new and add a simple page. So we can name this page appointments or bookings and you know, you can enter the plugin information or the data, all of that on that specific page. Now to simplify our process, we're going to be using this plugin. It is called appointment hour booking. It is one of the multiple thousands and hundreds of plugins available on WordPress for bookings. It's super easy and simple to integrate. There are also manual and automatic CSV reports and you have customizable email notifications for users and administrators. So what you're just going to do is you're going to go into your WordPress dashboard and once you are in your WordPress dashboard, you can see on the left side of your screen, you have your plugins and you will simply click on your plugins and then click on add new. Once you click on add new, you can see on the right side of your screen, you have your search plugins and here you will search for appointment hour booking and you will see the first plugin over here. It is called appointment hour booking WordPress booking plugin and you will simply click on install now. And this will take a couple of seconds to install. And once it has been installed, you can click on install plugins on the left side of your screen. And now you can see this plugin has been added. Now, once your plugin has been installed, you're going to activate it. So for this, just click on activate over here below the name of the plugin. And once you have done that, you can begin customizing your plugin. So how are you supposed to do that? How do you, you know, enter all that information? So once you click on appointment hour booking, the first top setting shows up as general settings. You have appointment hour booking, you have your add-ons, online demo, I need help and update plugin. So to actually create your booking system, you're just going to click on appointment hour booking. And from here, you're going to build your form list. So let's say this is just sample form. Now, we can begin by adding a sample booking. This is just a sample booking. So you can click on add booking and then you can enter the specific dates that you want this to be available for. So this is one service and then you can enter the specific email that you want your notifications to be. And you can choose to you know disable emails for this booking as well. And then you can enter the multiple different slots available for that specific booking. And then you're going to click on submit over here. Now these bookings will be added. So now they will appear in your bookings list over here. You can see you have your multiple different services. You have your appointments. Now, if we go into our appointment hour booking over here, you can go on ahead and simply click on booking orders. And this will lead you to all of your present appointments. Now you can also click on toggle payments to be able to accept payments for specific bookings as well. Now with each of your bookings, you can also export this entire data to a CSV file to later on a review. If you're ever switching websites or switching platforms, that is also a great you know option for you guys. Now you can enter a specific calendar. So this could be my appointments for December. And I'm just gonna click on add new over here. Once I have added new, so this is going to be a different calendar. And what I am going to do is you can simply click on schedule and you can choose the specific schedule, how it's going to be viewed as. So let's say we have our calendar over here. 
and we're just going to open up a certain date and you can see that you will be able to see all of your specific bookings for that specific calendar on here now we're just going to click on stats over here to see the submissions per day and the submissions per hour for that specific booking platform for that specific kind of booking as well now with our with each of our you know bookings or with each of our schedulings you can customize it however you want you can add multiple different fields you can add booking scheduling uh, block time so for that you can click on block times over here and from here you can click on block selected date so you can disable a certain date i want to block this date and i want to add blocks for this so we're going to block the selected dates over here and now you can go into your bookings list and now you can see this has currently been blocked by the admin so people will not be able to schedule you for that specific appointment or that specific time and this enables you to really simplify the overall process now other than that if you go into the general settings over here you'll have your email report settings you have your troubleshooting area your schedule calendar content so in this section you will be able to schedule your calendar view where you can view all of the information on your calendar you have some basic settings your edit style and edit script as well and then you have add-ons so these add-ons enable you to have a dashboard widgets to have what i call export versions and there are some premium integrations available as well that you can add then you have your basic upgrade plugin section where you can upgrade to a more premium version to add more features to your basic appointment scheduling software however this is pretty good for a basic appointment scheduling system and then this is going to be the perfect section for you because it enables you to create a simple yet effective system and you can also manage your website more easily with their simple plugin and it's not heavy and it works with all kinds of websites so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that i showed in this video and if you found them helpful, make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these. Share them with your friends, with your family, with your cousins, and share them with any business partners that you might have. And it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along. And if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below and i will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our youtube channel i want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and i will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video